What we're doing is an in-service um, in which we are going to sort of roll out to the paramedics this new video laryngoscopy system that we've decided to begin using here in the City of Spokane, City of Spokane Fire Department. Um, the reason why we have decided to do this is because we've recently reviewed our, our intubation success rates and found that they were uh, pretty close to the national standard average, but we felt like that wasn't good enough and we'd like to be a little bit more successful. And so we started kind of looking around for options, ways that we might actually be more successful. And what we found is that this video laryngoscopy system makes it, uh, I think, quite a bit easier for paramedics to, to succeed with intubation. I think there are a whole lot of reasons why possibly um, we're having less success than perhaps uh, would be optimal, but I think part of the reason is we have some new tools that make it that para so that paramedics don't have to opt for intubation as often as they used to in the past. We have CPAP now, which makes it easier for us to treat people with congestive heart failure without doing intubations. We have King Airways that are very handy uh, if you have to get some air into someone right away in the setting of cardiopulmonary arrest and some of those situations. So. Our paramedics are having less experience with intubation, so we've decided to go to a piece of hardware that's going to make it a little bit easier to uh, facilitate uh, successful intubation. And we're particularly interested in being sure that they're successful on the first try. So what we've done is we've, um, we've purchased this King Vision uh, video laryngoscopy system, and the reason we picked this rather than some of the other systems that have been around a little longer is because this more um, I think this is more like what they're used to doing. It sort of simulates the normal intubation procedure that the paramedic is used to doing. So uh, what this thing does that a, a direct laryngoscopy didn't do was it provides you a very nice view of the vocal cords, a full view of the vocal cords. So the paramedic can, using this tool, know with 100% certainty whether that tube went between the vocal cords and is in the trachea versus not in the trachea. Whereas in the past, with direct laryngoscopy, you couldn't get a full view of the cords all the time. So you'd put the tube in and you thought maybe it was in the right place, but you just didn't know absolutely for sure. And perhaps the patient wasn't getting ventilated properly in the meantime. And we think this is going to obviate that problem. We think we're going to be able to get people intubated on the first try most of the time. Uh, hopefully all the time, but pretty close to all the time anyway is our goal. You know, the worst thing that can happen is that we get a tube in the wrong place and we ventilate someone's stomach instead of their lungs. It's not good for um, the brain when uh, it goes without oxygen for a long period of time. So it's, uh, we feel like this is a really a good investment for the citizens of Spokane.